Hey guys, PixelBeaver here, and welcome back to our fourth bucket plugin tutorial episode. In this episode, we are going to be looking at events and how to handle them, specifically when a block is broken. So, to get started, let's copy our tutorial one. Uh, that was the plugin logger project. And let's make a new one. I'm going to call it tutorial for. Let's name it. Oh, come on, iCloud. Why? Why? Why must you do this? Okay, I'm gonna call it um, block. Eh, let's call it events. So, inside of here, in the plugin.yml file, you're gonna change this to block break, because that's what we're going to. Well, actually, actually, com dot pixelview dot plugins dot events dot block break, and uh, let's name it events and this registers events let's say there we go okay let's save and refresh that if you don't know how to refresh it's f5 if you're on a keyboard or function f5 on a laptop so let's open up our class actually let's we okay actually inside of this package you're gonna make a new package and at the end of this, you're going to do dot events. So it makes a new package inside of it. Um, usually it doesn't happen like that, but whatever. And then you're going to make another one. Uh, what, what, where am I? Yeah, there we go. Um, you're going to make another one dot uh, misc for miscellaneous. And then you're going to copy the plugin logger, place it into the miscellaneous, and then delete this one. Okay, and now in the events, so, and inside of here, you're going to make a new class, and you're going to call this block break, as we had it listed in the plugin.yml file. Okay, so, right here, we're going to implement, implements listener. And so, a listener is pretty much a plugin that will, I guess, just listens for events. And let me get my magnifier out. Okay, so, it seems blurry, is it? Not too sure. Whatever. So, inside of here, we're going to make something called an event handler, which you need uh, to ha well, handle any events. So, at event handler, uh, that'll tell you that it's wrong. Just give it a second. We need to complete the declaration. And then you're going to do public void. And then right here, we're just naming this method. Cannot press the delete button. Oh my gosh. Um, so, I'm going to call it on block break you can name it whatever you want though and then inside of here you're gonna type block break event event so that's the defining a variable event as a block break event now you can import everything okay so now we're going to check to see the block type and the player so player player equals event dot get player and then Dean, what? Uh, block, sorry. Um, yeah, block, block equals event dot get block. And then material, material equals, uh, let's, block dot get type. Okay, and then you're going to import everything. So, now we're going to check to see what the material type is. If material dot no if material is equal to so double equal sign material dot and we're gonna see if it's equal to how about dirt okay so if it's equal to dirt then we're gonna cancel the event so then we're gonna do event dot set cancelled true and then we're gonna send the player a message in chat color dot red and we're gonna say you cannot break this block here. Okay. And then, we're gonna, uh, after that if statement closing, we're going to type else if material uh, material is equal to material dot dirt. And then inside here, we're going to change this double equal sign to exclamation point equal sign. So that means if it is not equal to material dot dirt. Then we're going to send them a message in green, and we're going to say, 
Um, good job. <laughs> okay, so let's save this. Let's get out of our magnification. And now we're going... Okay, so now we're going to go back into our plugin logger. Uh, our plugin logger. Uh, plugin, uh, plugin, what class? And in here, in the on enable, we're going to let's just format this a little bit. Um, here, we're gonna add a new declaration: register events. Okay, sorry. Let's make that full screen. And here, let's, whoops, let's get this back out. So. And as you can see, that does not recognize register events, so you're going to make a private void method called register events. And then inside of this, you're going to grab a plugin manager. So plugin manager pm equals bucket dot git plugin manager. And in here, uh, we're going to Reg yeah, like I said, register the events. So make sure to import this to org.bucket.plugin and pm dot register events. And inside the listener, the first argument, you're going to type new block break, because that's the name of our class. And for the plugin, you're just going to type this, because this is the registering. And then you can import that from the other package. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Let's just export this and I'll see you in game. So in our plugin.yml file, you're going to change this to... Okay, so I accidentally had you set the listener as the main class, which is what you can actually do. So dot misc, miscellaneous dot the plugin logger, because that's the one that extends the Java plugin. Okay, so now let's re-export this. And now I will see you in the game. Okay guys, so now in game, let's get rid of this glass. So if we go into survival, uh, whoops, let me alt myself. Actually, first I need to reload the server. Okay, because we made those, those quick changes. Okay, so slash game mode S. Now, as you can see, we can break grass and it tells us good job. But now if we play the sister and break that, it cancels the event and says you cannot break this block here. So I hope you all have learned something from this episode. Uh, I definitely encourage you to play around with this a little bit. See if you can make it with block placing also. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.